In this video I hope to show how to change a normal HTML document into a desktop application. So here we start off with um, the coffee cup HTML editor as we can see there and I've already got um, an HTML document which is called clock HTML which is a, an application a JavaScript application with style sheets and HTML normal. Um, and this is basically a DHTML website I'm working on. Um, but I was uh, just wanting to show that um, is it possible to um, be able to do uh, desktop applications with JavaScript? Even among the website community, it's, uh, it's sometimes not recognized uh, in that function. It's just usually for uh, a browser script language. But in this one here, we've got the clock HTML at the top there, as we'll see. And this is just your normal HTML document. If you go down, uh, it's got a little bit of JavaScript in this and we're working on a clock um, as I was for the website I was doing. <clears throat> so what uh, that's as any of you will see who are interested in uh, in this type of thing will say well, that's just a normal normal HTML document. When I go to tools and test with the default browser, which mine is Google Chrome, and you'll see something like this. So this is the um, this is the the program I'm working on. Uh, the rest of the document is just your normal uh, type of HTML thing that you'll see. Uh, just your normal website type of thing. So what we do is um, we put the um, that back up and we try to change this clock into a desktop application. So what I've done, I've actually stripped this down. Uh, I've taken out the menu system and, and that type of thing. And uh, basically this is what it looks like if we go again to tools and a test with default browser again in Chrome. Now this is what it looks like. Most of the CSS has been changed so it's uh, all the menus being taken off and, and basically what we're left with is just something called the time and date which is my clock that I'm working on. This here is basically it. Uh, so as you can see, the time and date is Saturday, February 15th, 2014 at 13.45 and the seconds are going by there. So we'll come on to there, we'll go back into our uh, program and it's still clock2.html. We're saving this one because the, the clock one normal because I want that. Anyway, this clock2.html is uh, what we're going to do now is save it. So we're going to save as and we're going to put this as clock to and we're going to change the file format to something called hta dot hta so dot hta so what that means is a hypertext application now it becomes a hypertext application save and we want to uh, download that if I can uh, clock to desktop, we'll just take that away, and I want to put that desktop to, and I've already got this clock folder, and I don't know if this is actually going to work, because I haven't tried it, so I'll just put that, and make sure it is HTA, and uh, we'll put that in there, save as, and we'll just knock this down, and we knock our browser down, and then we'll go into here. Now this is uh, just your normal uh, folder. It's, I've done another one which is called calculator and we've got this one which is clock. So what we can do is just open that clock up, the folder there, and the images which is just basically, oh, I didn't put an image in that one but uh, I need to do that. Uh, so I'll just go back to uh, the document where the images are and I'll just go and get that. Oops, this is not really working too well. Um, just go back down on the desktop. Hmm, he's not really working too well. Anyway, <clears throat> I'll go back to Coffee Cup Software, uh, my website, and we'll go into DHTML and we'll find the image for that, which is a 
and I'll find it. It's this one here, I think. So I just need to copy this. Go back in here. And it's starting to freeze the computer. Images, we'll pop this one in here. And there we go. So we'll see if this works. So we knock this now, as you can see, the clock two has actually changed its file format. So it doesn't look like an HTML. If you can go in there and see that. A better example is this one here. We'll put in here on the desktop, which I did earlier. Uh, and that's what it looks like. A little bit like a dot bat. An old, uh, an old type of thing that uh, uh, Windows used to have, which looks a bit like that. So we'll go back into this and we'll just put that up. Clock two. And we'll see if that works. And there you are. So what we do is we have the... I know this is a bit crude, but it's... Uh, and then we have the uh, desktop application, which is this, the time and date are Saturday, the February 15th, 13, 48 and 51 seconds. Uh, and there you have it. I'm trying to go in there, but it's not... There it is. Uh, there you go, and that's that's a desktop application. Uh, as I say, it is very crude, and you could say why do you need it? Uh, well, you don't really. It's just that it's it's something to do, <laughs> really. Uh, but that's uh, I mean, Windows do better better things than 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 I can do. But anyway, this uh, and anyway, we're going at this calculator one, which I did uh, previously, and um, when that finally loads up we can see this and again it's a, a, a dot hta hypertext application and we'll pop that one up and there we are so here we go um this again is a desktop application now with the dot hta file system so now we'll just say three times uh, or three and six uh, we plus that obviously that's nine and there you are and the total is nine and just divide that 0 0.5 and three sixes should be 18 there you are 18 and you minus that and that's minus three so there's a simple calculator uh, desktop application done in javascript so thank you for watching and i hope that you find that interesting